kidding me? Monday Night Raw provided another huge twist on the road to WrestleMania 35 this week as the almighty Bobby Lashley regained his Intercontinental Championship after defeating Finn Balor in singles action. This sees the title switch back to the hands of Lashley who lost the belt in the first place to Balor. Although it wasn't Lashley that he beat, with Leo Rush being the man he pinned to become champion. Speaking of Rush, it was due to his distraction that Lashley was able to get the win, making a surprise appearance at ringside by ringing the bell when Balor was looking to hit the coup de gras, distracting the former champion. While Balor was able to deal with Leo Rush, when he dove back into the ring, he was rocked by a huge spear which led to Lashley picking up the win and once again becoming the Intercontinental Champion. This was a big surprise to most people as it was generally expected that Balor would be carrying the title all the way to WrestleMania 35. But even though Balor may not now walk into the show as champion, it seems pretty certain that he'll be involved in WrestleMania's Intercontinental Championship match. Balor has been feuding with Bobby Lashley for several months now and with this title switch, it seems clear that WWE is wanting to keep that story going, at least until the grand state of the mall. Since putting Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush, his character has been seriously enhanced, largely due to Rush's fantastic microphone work, with the two men clearly having great chemistry together. The big man being partnered with the much smaller man is something that the company has done plenty of times because it's very effective and that has been the case with this deal, which is likely why WWE is wanting to push it so strongly. While it ensured that Bobby Lashley looked incredibly strong and could continue his recent push, it hasn't made Balor look great as his title run technically only saw him defeat Leo Rush. However, that is why WWE has decided to have the title change hands, as the company now seems to set to book Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor once again, this time at WrestleMania 35. Because even though WWE claims title rematches are no longer given, they have given nearly every ex-champion a rematch anyway. While this isn't the original match that fans wanted to see, with people hoping for dream matches involving Balor against the likes of Ricochet or Aleister Black, rather than Lashley, but at least it appears to be a singles match that WWE is pushing. Balor and Lashley have now worked with each other several times now and do have decent chemistry together and even though the match won't steal the show, it will be serviceable enough to be on the card. One of the major reasons that WWE seems to be putting the storyline further instead of ending it is because Vince McMahon is a big fan of Lashley's work which is why he has been heavily featured since returning to WWE almost one year ago. Even though Lashley hasn't always been on top, and certainly hasn't reached the level that some people expected him to when he first re-signed with the company. But since he has turned heel, Lashley has looked a lot more comfortable. Speaking of Rush, he is another reason that WWE has put the title back on Bobby, as this puts him back in the good books of his partner, as it was down to Rush's involvement that Lashley was able to dispatch Balor. The partnership between them has brought the best out of both men, and splitting them up would have been a mistake which is why WWE needed to do something like this as Rush had cost Lashley the title in the first place. Triple H is very high on Leo Rush despite the difficult start he had to life in WWE due to his tweet about Emma following her release from WWE. Something he has since addressed on the Lillian Garcia podcast admitting he suffered with depression because of it and that he tried to apologize to her. However, Triple H sees the natural talent that Rush has, which is why he quickly moved him from NXT to the main roster and wasted little time in finding a spot for him on Raw, rather than keeping him restricted to 205 Live. Finally, another main reason that WWE is continuing the storyline is that it will allow for one major moment at WrestleMania, the return of the demon. Finn Balor has kept his alter ego hidden for a long time now, with fans desperate to see his body paint creations make a comeback. Balor always brings out the demon for big matches where he needs a little extra something and considering that he hasn't been able to beat Lashley yet and that he'll have Leo Rush by his side, WrestleMania could be the right time to do that. 